To create a D20 device, go to the local repository. Select the D20 device icon and drag it into an empty spot on the drawing area. When you release your mouse button, the D20 device wizard appears. The basic settings screen allows you to enter some information about the device you are creating. There are three checkboxes at the bottom of the screen. The land-based device setting specifies whether or not the device is going to be on an Ethernet LAN. If you enter this option, there's an additional page in the wizard later on. If you select redundant device, additional configuration files are generated when the device configuration is complete. If this is a, if this is a LAN based device, you have the option to compress, compress or not compress the device configuration files. This reduces the amount of time it takes to download over TFTP. The basic settings screen allows you to enter some information about the device you're creating. There are three boxes at the bottom of the screen. The LAN-based device setting specifies whether or not this device is going to be on an Ethernet LAN. If you enable this option, there is an additional page in the wizard later on. If you select redundant device, additional configuration files are generated when the device configuration is complete. If this is a LAN-based device, you have the option to compress or not compress the device configuration files. This reduces the amount of time it takes to download over TFTP. The Project Land Properties page allows you to define land properties for the entire project. It is important to note that all land-based devices refer back to the same settings configured here. When you create subsequent land-based devices, you are shown the same wizard window. However, the information you define the first time you create a land-based device will be used for all subsequent land-based devices. I can, I can configure general settings. LAN segments. LAN A and LAN B are shown in case you're using a redundant LAN and any hosts that need to be defined. The next page of the wizard allows you to configure device specific properties that is hardware, firmware, and other device related settings for the D20 that you created. There are four main tabs here. The tab you select determines what subtabs appear below. Under the processor tab, general subtab, you can select the actual model of processor that you are using. You then select the firmware set to use. If you are using a firmware set from the firmware library, you can choose the firmware set at this stage. 
If you don't select the firmware set at this stage, you will have to manually add applications one by one after the device has been created. For the memory model, you can use the settings that are automatically included with the processor card configuration or you can override them and set them manually. If your device uses VME expansion cards, you can configure them on the VME cards tab. However, these are obsolete and unless you are configuring an older device, you shouldn't need to make any changes on this tab. The next tab is LAN settings. This allows you to configure specific LAN settings for this device. The LAN settings tab is available if you have configured this device as a LAN based device. You will notice that LAN A is shown here. That is because I didn't configure LAN B as a redundant LAN on the project LAN settings tab. If you had configured LAN B there, then LAN B would be listed here as an option as well. The final tab is NVRAM storage. This allows you to download a configuration without taking the device offline. The D20 device wizard is now complete. The device is configured and all the necessary applications will be generated. You can now see an icon in the drawing area representing the D20 device I created. Before I generate the configuration files for this device, I need to configure the applications that are running on the device. I can use the application library to do this, which I can access by double clicking the device. All the applications on the device are listed under the functional headings. For more information on application lists, please refer to the application list screencast.